I'm the guy that looks after the clock in the Lighthouse Festival Theater Tower, which has been up there since 1909. So we're going to take a tour of the clock and the bell and show you all the workings of this landmark in Port Dover. So here we are in the back of the balcony of the theater in the tech booth. And in order to get to the clock, we have to go through a trap door in the ceiling. So I have a couple of keys here that will unlatch it. You can see. And then we have a ladder that we got to pull down. And up we go. So the first thing that we encounter is the bell. And this bell came to Port Dover in 1869 from Troy, New York, and was originally in Powell Park in a tower and was rung by hand with this huge wheel that was attached to it that, of course, would have a rope in it. And a man was hired to ring the bell four times a day. And that was at seven in the morning, noon, one, and six, which pretty much marked the work day of the time and also on special occasions. And for that job, he was paid a whopping $50 a year. So here we are up in the very top where the clock resides. And we're about 60 feet up. It's pretty much the tallest spot in Port Dover still. The clock was installed in 1909. And somewhere around the late 1800s, they decided that they wanted to have a clock. The building was already here as a town hall. They held fundraisers like strawberry socials and music concerts and so on in order to raise the $650 required to be able to buy the clock. They decided on the E. Howard Company of Boston, Massachusetts. So in 1909, the clock was put in place. The way this clock is designed, it's mechanical, of course. There's two sides to it. This side of it powers the clock. This side of it powers the bell ringing. Both of them are powered by weights. They travel down a chute at the northeast corner of the theater. And it takes about eight days for them to travel all the way down. So traditionally, a person would come up here and wind this clock once a week. And this is the handle that is used to wind it, as you can see. And what it's doing right now it is lifting the weights that power the clock. So this pendulum, which as you can see is a wooden shaft, is about nine feet long going through the floor to the large metal ball at the bottom, which we see. And it is suspended, believe it or not, by these two very thin pieces of metal. They're about 13 thousandths of an inch thick, which is about three or four hairs thickness. And that's what suspends the whole thing. Well, of course, it has to be able to flex and it has to be able to be strong. And you can see this arm here is actually moving the pendulum. And uh, it's usually within 30 seconds to a minute over the course of a week, one way or the other. So not too bad. So there you have it, folks. A tour of the famous Lighthouse Festival Theater clock. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it and learned a few things. And now returning you back to the Port Dover Foundation Telethon. Cheers and thanks for coming.